What's up guys, Panda here from Panda Gaming and welcome back to EA Sports UFC 3. I'm going to be TJ Dillashaw in this fight against a Dominic Cruz. And it's something that I wanted to talk about uh, playing other games. You guys know I don't just play UFC uh, that I've noticed. And that is just the toxic of environment of playing the game. You know when you go online you want to play a game, uh, you want to have a good time, just something like that. Uh, you don't want to go in there and just be bantered all the time. So what, what I, the reason why I'm saying that is in this fight right here, I'm taking on a Dominic Cruz. This is my fourth fight back since being gone for so long. I'm obviously going to take things slower, uh, get the feel for things. Um, but the reason why I was talking about the banter is because literally from the word go, uh, this guy right here is just talking smack. Now, I love a good smack talker, you know. Uh, that is perfectly fine to me. Well, you see I'm trying to fill him out some jabs and everything starts good. Money Ace is this dude's name. I've never played him before. But everything starts good. Well, it's I think when he gets hurt or something like that, I start getting called every name in the book. I'm not even kidding with you. Uh, and if I take one step back, I'm a coward or just insert worse words here. You know what I'm saying? So, what, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay in his face. I'm going to brawl with him. You know, I'm like, let's go. You know, your Dominic Cruz. Uh, he's been with a nice knee right there. Uh, but now he's pushing the pace. He's in my face. And I'm still coming back to this game, but I'm working that stamina because uh, I've noticed this guy's going ham. There, I hit him again with a dirty combo. Uh, I'm not able to get that knockdown. Eh, so it is what it is. But still, that was a nice combo that landed. And I did not put his voice on this video, uh, basically because, you know, I try to keep this can channel clean, and I try to keep it friendly for everyone. Uh, so I don't have his voice, what he's saying, uh, this entire fight. Um, I just decided not to do that. But anyway, so I'm I'm trying, not to, you know, I'm like, let's go, let's get this single leg takedown, let's mix some things up. You guys know that's how I like to fight. I like to stand up for a bit, maybe the clinch, try to work some ground game, and see really what you're about. I get a good denial right there. I'm trying to just throw little bitty shots here and there. Deny his trying to go to back. I get full mount. I'm in full mount. I'm going to try to do some damage here. Um, unable to really get anything going, though. He blocks two. I land one. Throw an elbow. Ah, that next one was so close to landing, but it did not land. So now we're back on top. He's going to push us to guard. I'm going to posture up right here, um, and I know he's probably going to try to kick me off. I didn't even get to posture up, but I denied that. Let's go to half guard. I think he pre-denied that. That was a good guess. He gets the uh, reversal, and here he's going to stand up. Now, it's been so long I haven't played. I'm going to let him hit me a few times here, but I'm actually trying to lock in that triangle or the arm bar, but I forgot that TJ Dillashaw only has a guillotine. So, I cannot do that. Um, so, eventually, I, you, know, you saw me shuck the punch. He's had me in crucifix for a second. Uh, they really nerfed that position. You get out pretty easy. We're back in guard. Uh, again, I haven't remembered that he doesn't have the triangle yet. I, right there is when I know it's all he only has a guillotine. Uh, again, this guy's constantly in my ear. Just talking smack. Calling me every name in the book. And I'm like, okay, let's do it, you know. So, Cruz runs out of stamina, you know, but he did land some good strikes right there. It was a closer round. I rocked him twice, I think two or three times that round. Uh, but all in all, a pretty even round. Have to look at the stats to really see who I thought won that round. Going into round two, it's like the, the a swift flitch. He tried to uh, fake glove touch me and catch me with a head kick. Uh, luckily, I saw it coming soon enough to block it. But now, see, now I'm just, we're being a super aggressive. I'm, he's trying to stay in my face constantly. I'm backing up. Uh, just trying to work something, get something going, you know, counter this guy from keeping him out of my face. You see me push back a little bit, but as soon as my stamina gets a little low, I'm trying to back up, get some room between us. Right there, I, I knock him down with a dirty right hook uppercut after he missed that flying knee. Good body kick. You know, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Uh, but the dude still, you know, he he's talking so much. He's calling me, you know, every word in the 
book right there i hit him with a huge head kick then an overhand for the knockdown that's two knockdowns in this round i know i'm winning this round uh and it just feels like it's a fuel on the fire the guy's getting more and more mad uh and you'll see some cheese come out here as soon as possible um he's gonna grab me uh, eventually i'm not for sure when he does it i think it's later this round but i'm just basically trying to keep that pressure on i know i've hurt him quite a bit my head health is higher than his so let's just keep swinging not get caught with anything silly right there i'm trying to bait him into throwing a kick i miss my kick he lands a body kick very nice little jab i feel like they uh they fixed dominic cruz's jab or maybe they made it a little bit faster because i felt like i couldn't jab with him to save my life uh but this dude just it seems a little bit faster there i get a good sway hit him with an uppercut missed the head kick can't get him down you see me taunting or you see him taunting me good little two-piece combo uh every time i land two punches his head starts to shake a little uh, good body kick right there by him though and basically we're going back and forth and this is not really my style I like to take my time pick my shots, but there I land a big Overhand and I just taunt him because at this point I'm kind of fed up with all this talk in my ear You know, I can't even listen to great Joe Rogan's commentary because this guy is just rambling on I could have muted him, but you know just fuel on the fire, you know now I'm looking to get that win even more uh, I've heard him so many times. I just can't seem to get that knockdown. Uh, he's doing well for surviving. I'll give the guy that much. Oh, good body kick right there. Catches me with low stamina. Puts on the pressure. Right there, I go for a takedown just to mix it up, but I was too far away. Easy denial. <clears throat> Let's see what he wants to do. He's just going to punch me right here. I'm going to pull to half guard. And just you know right out the end of this round I know I won the round for sure with the two knockdowns there we go we got back I tried to lock in a sub but he transitioned to backside too fast and now we're going to round three round three guys is a rated R movie let me tell you right quick uh, it's the one that don't even show up in the theaters you got to watch it online somewhere on a legal website um, I mean that's how bad it was uh, again I try to touch gloves I'm a nice guy he comes out he threw a leg kick but I believe he was you know trying to throw a head kick uh, here he automatically clinches me uh, fakes that takedown luckily I get out and put him in the single leg I couldn't get a takedown of my own he starts to throw a bunch of body knees fakes that takedown hits me with a body knee gets the rock taunts me knocks me down with two hooks he's taunting again and look at this I mean it's just the pressure is on uh, I was not ready for that body knee in the clinch to be honest he throws a body kick I try to get a takedown throwing another leg kick the pressure's on now I think he knows you know maybe he needs a finish here uh, with one knockdown in the round that's not the way I wanted to start the third nonetheless here you see me just I'm trying to fight back as best I can I don't have very much stamina but I don't want the guy just walking forward throwing punches constantly so you see me being super defensive uh, usually only through one or two punches right here to try to just keep the guy at distance you know don't let him get too comfortable though a little one two just enough to create some space he's taunting again gonna let him taunt you know I see his stamina is better than mine my body health is terrible I'll taunt with you I'm not even doing anything my dude is TJ Dillashaw so tired it's crazy but I'll still taunt why not there we throw just a little jab hook and he sways a lot so uh, you know I'm throwing lots of hooks in this fight uh, basically trying to catch him swaying um, and just like I said just being defensive but not letting him just tee off on me you can't just let somebody beat your block down he's going he's mixing it up good body shot good head and you mean I mean every second of this fight guys he's calling me this calling me that um, there he's going to put me in the Muay Thai clinch again. I get out. I knew some body knees were going to come, and I could not take another body knee. I knew we would have been in a really bad situation. So, backing up. There he hits me with a nice head kick. I mean, he's just got more in the gas tank, so he's able to do more. But right there, I catch him slipping. I throw a little uh, left hook, right hook, and get a knockdown, and I taunt in his face right there. And that just made it even more, more mad, more just more fuel on the fire there i catch a body knee i saw it coming and i get that takedown i'm like a minute two with a takedown i could ride out this 
and you know it's one knockdown to one knockdown who I don't know who they're gonna give it to uh, so let's just see what happens but he gets back to his feet with 43 seconds to go in the fight I throw a little jab hook like I said I'm trying to time it I, I don't have the stamina to be, be throwing them like crazy so I'm trying to time it right there I throw a little left hook just one he's coming in with three hooks of his own 16 seconds to go in the fight some more hooks I'm gonna try to set up one more time see if I can't land a combo right there I catch him throwing a knee and I was able to get a knockdown right at the end of the third round and I taunted in his face as he was laying down uh, and I was interested to see who they would give this fight to I got my hand raised, so automatically I'm nervous. I'm like, that's like the number one sign. But then TJ puts it down, so I'm like, I don't know. And then I see Dominic Cruz has his hand raised, so I'm like, I don't know who won this fight. Listen in. It's a split decision, which is kind of confusing. And TJ Dillashaw gets the victory. So we get the victory here. I'm going to look at the stats uh, just to see how they scored this fight honestly um i didn't think it was a split decision i thought i had at least two rounds um uh, to one uh but as you'll see here when i look at fight stats i did lose my last fight knocked out in like the first minute uh i had eight stuns and wobbles which this is new for me i didn't ever see this so this is new stats for me in round one two stuns and wobbles i landed 15 to 7 39 to 39 round two i had four stuns and wobbles two knockdowns guaranteed i won round two and if you go by stuns and wobbles on round one i should have won that and i landed more so i was confused on how he got round one in a judge's eyes but in round three you see i had two stuns and wobbles two knockdowns to his one i think that really just helped out and gave us the victory but anyways guys i want to thank you for watching let me know if you fight guys like this who are just constantly in your ear but until next time, guys, please leave a like, and if you're new, go ahead and subscribe.